is still happening. What's going on, Catherine David? It is on. Okay, we're 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 working. We're working. All right, hold on. Let's see. Is it going to do what I needed to do? Uh, let's see. Hold on. Cool. Yeah, the webinar is still happening. Uh, I'll explain it in a minute. Gubinar, not Gubinar, webinars on air is a different kind of animal. And it is a little strange what you have to do to make sure that the webinar is private. And I have to do this again. All right. So, okay. All right. We are, um, we should be started. Now, what's going to happen <laughs> when I do this? Is it's going to uh, yep yeah, that's that's the whole thing. All right, uh, you guys go ahead and chat in the chat room. Do what you have to do. I'm just going to start this thing now. Since today is Mother's Day, and if I have any mothers on the webinar, Happy Mother's Day. Hope your day is going well. Hope you continue to go well. It's not going to be that long because I tend to roll in my own little universe, and sometimes I forget that. The world doesn't operate like that, and it creates problems. But this is going to go on. We're going to have the first session, and to give you some ideals, <clears throat> excuse me, of what's going to happen going forward. I learned from 30 days to 2,500 bucks that one session with some action plans for the week is plenty. There aren't, enough, there aren't many people that have the ability to devote that much time. You know, like I said, you know, 30 days to 2,500 bucks was totally different, it was fun, but it helped me make my presentations better. It also helped me learn how you operate. So what we're going to do, this is the first session. Now the second session, I haven't set the date, but it probably will not be on the Sunday, and I'm going to set that up and you'll get that information. It's going to be a session, and we're going to talk about some things, you're going to ask some questions, and then I'm going to give you pointers. because. Essentially, this is what I did to make money, you know, killer money. And let's define killer money. Killer money is money that you can live on. Because any time that you, you know, I really, really thought about this, and it was awe-inspiring to me, and it's become even more inspiring when I look at what happened and how fast it happened. Because there are many times when we become despondent, we tend to think, that hey, this isn't happening fast enough, this is going too slow. Whose time are we operating in? Sometimes it takes a business. I feel for me to go from absolutely nothing with YouTube in August 6, 2009, to within 16 months to have made $62,000, I feel that's pretty remarkable. I did not do this with AdSense, and we're going to talk heavily because when you say making money with YouTube, that is the first thing that pops up in my in people's minds is AdSense, 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 AdSense. And I'm going to tell you what's happening with AdSense. But before we get to that, we're going to go with the big why. Why are you creating a YouTube channel? Once again, I had a plan for my YouTube channel. The plan was to sell books. As we went down the path, that plan changed a little bit. I was like, okay, well, this isn't working, this isn't working. But the thing is, from day one, I had a plan. I had a goal of $50,000, which actually was you know, the first year. And I had 200 videos, concepts mapped out on sheets of paper. So I just started rocking and rolling. You can do the same thing. Now, we're going to talk about your big why really really hard here if you want a lot of views and understand and I want you to hear me you can make an incredible amount of money from YouTube and not have a lot of views 
So if you're thinking, oh God, I am never going to get a million views, I'm never going to get all these views because I've been experimenting with uh, YouTube marketing, you pay in for promotions, and you get views, but they're not quality views when you pay for promoted views. And like I said, I'm still experimenting. And the reason I'm not going to put the advertising and promoting because I'm still in the lab on that. I'm still getting information, so that'll be a separate book. But there, there's a huge difference between the promoted views and the organic views. Promoted views are the same as people. I'll give you a really good example. We used to have a furniture website. It was glendoncameron.com. We noticed that when we did organic harvesting, when we would place ads in Craigslist and have links to our website, that the people from Craigslist would go into the websites and they have an average time on site of 8 to 12 minutes, which if you've done any type of analysis about how long people stay on the website, for, for what we were selling, it was an incredible amount of time. The Google pay for clicks we were using, those people were coming in and leaving within 30 to 50 seconds. So these, these, these leads that we were getting that were free were staying much longer and the needs we were paying for were like bouncing. They were like, I am out of here. Same thing happens here with YouTube because part of it's your message. Now, YouTube advertising is very, very cheap, but essentially when you're creating your channel, I want you to take out of your head that I must get a million views to be successful. Take that out of your head. If you're creating your channel, and the beauty is you can create a channel for business, you can create a channel for pleasure, you can create a channel to test stuff. It's free. Well, just your time. And you're using the same camera equipment, same equipment. It's a matter of having a strategy. You know, so what is the purpose of your channel? You know, if you wake me up from my sleep and like, Glenda, what's the purpose of your channel, Glenda 007? Sell books. <laughs> it's very clear, it's very defined. And that's why I've been able to do it. When your purpose, your direction and stuff is clearly defined, you will have more success. When you are just, well, let's see how this goes, then you're going to have problems. You, you, you will have problems, and it's going to be some situations that uh, create drama. And this is very, very important. How much money do you want to make? you got to ask yourself, how much money do you want to make? Really, really think about that. How much money do you want to make with your YouTube channel? It, I'm being silent because many people think that they have to cram down their expectations. When I created my, my map for becoming a writer, I have $50,000 based on most writers don't make a livable income. Most don't. Many are very happy to have their work published and read because that's the dream of writers. Like, I wrote this and someone's going to read it. I want them to read it. Well, essentially, you can put down whatever number you want. If you want to make 50 and that's what you want, cool. If you want to make 100, that's cool. I recommend that you put down whatever number that you have. Once you get started, set a date on your calendar to revise that number because once you get started, you'll have information. You'll have a clear perspective of what's possible. I have a video that got me a $20,000 consulting contract and it didn't have a lot of views, but that video was very specific to those people and their needs. So essentially, when you are doing your channel, you have to think about your business. You have to think about the implement the, the, the process of what's your business. Because there are many business videos you go to them, they only have 62 video, I mean 62 views, 100, maybe 300 views. Well, if you really think about it, those 62 to three or four hundred views are quality views. They're quality because these people were looking for whatever that channel offered. It's very, very important. Now I'm about to drill in the AdSense thing. Well, AdSense is not the way. When I became eligible for the AdSense program, it was good. I'm not going to sit here and go, oh, no. It was great. It was great. Uh, I was doing between 600 and 1400 bucks a month when it was really cranking, like 1400 1500 a month. And uh, really, when you wake up and you get that Google AdSense check, you know, direct deposit in your account, you're like, shit. I love it was make videos. It becomes very, very seductive. But what I've noticed when 
And I, I got to enjoy that for a very short period of time. Uh, the money I make now is like between 400 and 600 bucks. Uh, that's like if I do absolutely nothing, don't put up any videos, I'll probably do four something, which is great when you think about is residual income. That's really nice residual income. I mean, that pays significant bills. So I'm not going to poo poo it, but if you're new and you don't have a really good plan, slick camera editing, or some kind of G whiz factor, it's going to be tough sledding to make money with AdSense. You're going to have to put up videos, build a tribe. But the thing is, I'll, you know, I'll give you uh, the numbers on this book. I wrote this book in a week. It's going to be revised. We're going to do more stuff, and you will get the revised copy once we get all done with it. Because I decided, I wrote this is the new process. Write the book, do the webinars, get feedback and questions, and actually put that information in the book. And then when it's all nice and shiny, just, ooh, this is sweet, you're going to get that. So you're helping make this book, which I think it's really good because I've got the feedback from some people. And it's like, man, I never thought about this stuff. Even better. So thanks. Now, this is what happens. You become a click whore, dilutes your thought process, actually stunts creativity. Because going back to this book, uh, which I pre-sold, the first uh, run, I made 800 bucks. So what did I just tell you? My current AdSense money is 400 to 600 bucks. In a seven-day period, I made more money with one product that did not know what was the you know what was the uh, the price it was ten bucks <laughs> it was ten bucks for the pre-sale and then I switched up and I changed the price and I switched up and changed the price and that's how I got up to the eight hundred dollars but essentially in one week with a product I made eight hundred bucks whereas all month getting click you know AdSense money I won't make that I won't make that and the thing is something is and this is another reason I'm pulling back from getting about the marketing they've changed stuff again and one of the things about what's really cool about the way that I'm doing these new books is I update this book I can just add it to Gumroad hit click and everyone will get the new version so what you want you know once you get in on the low the low low you're in for life because now this is something that happens and like I said this is the first session and I'm kinda of going in a few different places but I have recently put up videos and I've used YouTube promoting and some of those videos have made 14 to 20 bucks the first month. Now, I know you're going, 14, 20 bucks, that's not a lot. Many of my older videos, most of them, because there's only a handful of videos that make up the most of most of my assets money, they get pennies. I mean, 62 cents, like you go in your, your dashboard, and you can look, oh, this is 62 cents. Oh, this one got a dollar this month. So when you see a video that you put up for a week, and you promote it and you get like 14, 20 bucks. But the thing is, I promote it and I spent money. So actually, I'm just kind of breaking even, which is good, which is good. But your best AdSense is just not the way if you're looking to make quick money, consistent money, and to build a tribe. Because when you start just doing videos to get views, we all know that for the business end, well, I know. A lot of those videos just don't get a lot of views because most people are not interested in business. They're interested in fuckery. Oh, look, here's this ginormous pimple. Pop, ooh, a million views. How? Hey, this chick's like, hey, my baby sister's twerking. 50,000 views, and it's a little kid bouncing her ass up, and it's disgusting. Oh, look, we're going to have a fight. Fight in Nashville or somewhere. Two million views. Fuckery rules YouTube. YouTube knows this, and they are really trying to change it because they're courting those advertisers. And this is another reason to be in you get in get in with YouTube and work a channel. In a few years, they're going to do live events. Like they'll probably have fights, football games, series. This this stuff's going to be streaming from YouTube. So if you're part of the process, you're going to get some spin off of that because the numbers are if half. Okay, half of the videos, and there's several hundred videos on YouTube, have less than 500 views. When you go up to 1,000, 80 something, 85, 86 percent of the videos have less than 1,000 views. So if you get a channel and you're consistently getting 1,000, 1,500 views, people are going to start noticing you. Uh, advertisers are going to start putting their advertising in your comment section. You're not going to get paid from this because you're getting enough views to warrant them doing that. So the threshold isn't that high. Now, 
part of this, we're going to talk about starting the channel. I'm just telling you today, think about your channels. Don't just start one. And this is another thing. When you start channels, and I've seen this, even with bigger YouTube, that first channel, those secondary channels very rarely even get close to the primary channel. I think it's because of the effort that's applied because you have this one channel that's making money and you get all these views and it strokes your ego. You're like, yeah, they love me, right? They love me. So you got that stuff going on. And it's just kind of hard to like really get up for that second channel. So start your three channels and work them equally hard because as you build channels and you do videos, you're going to learn the video processing. You're going to learn how to edit faster. You're just going to learn a lot of stuff much faster than if you just do one channel. Now, you know, AdSense does work for people, but you're going to need as many videos uh, as possible, crazy views. Um, you're going to you're going to need so much to actually make this thing happen. I mean, it's just like I said. I have. I, I'll tell you. I get anywhere. I'm consistently getting from 110,000 to 125,000 views per month, which, you know, compare and contrast, I'm going to throw this in there, uh, is outstanding numbers for like a blog. So I kind of consider my YouTube channel like a blog. But for me to, and this is the thing, I could double my views, right, by doing certain things, but that necessarily would not mean that I would double my money. There is not a linear parallel between views and money. Sure, the more views you make, the more money you can make, but it all uh, comes down to demographics because there's a guy that I've been talking to on YouTube, and he, he put up a channel, a video, like how much money he makes, and for the month he makes like 900 bucks. Now, he gets more money than that because he's in a part of a network and he gets sponsorship and those things. I mean, he might be making three grand a month, but his AdSense money is only two to 300 bucks more than mine. And he has... Three times the views that I have, but it's a fitness channel, and he caters, and most of the people watching that channel are 12 to 22. They don't have any money to buy anything unless it's just something like a movie ticket or you know maybe protein supplements, whereas my channel, the demographics are, most of the people that watch this channel are 35 to 55. They have money. So that's one of the reasons I feel that I make, you know, about 60% of the assets money that this guy makes, but I have one-third of the views. But this channel was geared to make money from day one. I always thought about money. I was like, oh, no, YouTube is for the free and the beautiful and release the doves. And No. If you want to make money, decide to make money. Okay, so that is it for the Q&A. And uh, I will... Cool. There's not that many questions. Now let me switch over here because people come into these things in different ways. All right. Let's see if anyone asks a question there. Okay. I didn't turn that on, so you can't ask questions. So everybody is over here in the chat. But, yes, this thing's on. So I'll put this back on, change up the things. Like I said, I didn't really expect a lot of people because, like, once again, I apologize. just forgot it's Mother's Day. Uh, Catherine says, hey, having a great Mother's Day. Cool. All right, so if you got any questions, shoot. Now, there's going to be more to this, and I'm not going to give you the number of sessions there are going to be because this thing's going to kind of build. So I want you to think, how many people here have a YouTube channel that they're actively putting videos up? Let me see how fast this thing works. What do you mean you're in the time warp mode? Or is it a delay? Okay, here's Chuck. Great question. How do you know when you need to claim income taxes on your YouTube income? If you have a job, right, and you're already paying taxes and you add additional in YouTube income, you have to pay taxes on it because it increases your overall income. If you are like broke and make no money, and I think the threshold is like 7500 that you have to file taxes. So essentially, if you're making money now from a job or your business and you get YouTube income, you're going to pay taxes on it. 
Uh, Marcy, so if I have three ideas, should I have three different channels and three different emails? Correct. And great question, and I'm going to tell you why. I wanted to be a secret agent, all right, when I started my uh, my channel, and then went Glendon 07, and I didn't know anything. Yeah, you know, I didn't keyword it because I, I'm going to do it. There's this new channel that I'm doing that's going to be called Metamorphosis Business Consulting. Once I do it, you'll all get links. And there will be Metamorphosis Business Consulting Facebook. All this stuff will be congruent because that just increases your weight in the Google search machine. The way that my stuff is, is some over here, some over here, and fortunately I run stuff hard through the YouTube channel and people find me, but I'm working harder than I have to because I didn't set this thing up right the correct way because no one was able to tell me to set it up the correct way. And once it took off, it was too late. Uh, Chuck, me no, you. It, I actually had to switch. Look, just you know, give you a real quick thing with webinars on there. Webinars on there is a software package that allows you to do these things I'm doing with Google Hangouts. And one of the things that it does is it will just broadcast your Hangout on your Google Plus page. So I was going through some things because I thought I could make it private and it wasn't going private so I had some snafus. So I had to log into another channel that I don't really use and not too many people are following so that's why I had to re-log out and log in again. Reginald has one channel. <laughs> no man, my head was cold. Uh, Uh, let's see, Daniel Griffin, I have one channel. My car repair videos get a lot of hits. I kind of experiment with the channel. I just want to get more serious with it. All right, we're going to start with Daniel. We're going to talk about how many people, something goes wrong with your car, you need to learn how to do something. How many people go to YouTube first to learn how to do something? I'm there five, six, seven times a week doing that. Whenever I'm like working in iMovie, because iMovie, Apple just changed the iMovie package. I don't know where anything is. So I have to go find some little British kid, and this is how you, and boom, I get what I need in like 30, 40 seconds versus reading the manual. So with Daniel, this is, this is, this is some tips for you. Find, if you don't have one, find a popular car and start doing instructional videos about the simplest thing. How to change the video, how to change the battery. How to change the battery of the key fob of a Honda Accord 1991. Because if you put how to change Honda key fobs, people will find it. But if you put how to change the key fob of a Honda 1991 Honda Accord LX, more people are going to find it. Give you an example. I have a BMW X5. If you know anything about BMWs, the batteries are under the seat or under the hatch, and they have a vent in it. And it's just not like you can change it. But there's a guy, he's got a video, he teaches you exactly how to do it because the batteries at the dealership, I don't go to the dealership, I got a guy that does stuff. But my guy was going to charge me, he, he takes care of me. You know, he put the battery in, he didn't charge me labor, so I only paid for the cost of the battery. So what I did it myself, you know, been the same. But there are many people who have to do it themselves. So you start doing how to do this, how, you know, just something that may be tricky. I'll give you an example. When I did the video about how to clean your laptop fan, that thing has 125,000 hits. I didn't think that was going to happen. So how to instructional videos are very, very popular. Chuck, how do you block trolls and spammers? Okay, you can't. I have what I call my social media policy for YouTube. I was stupid in the beginning, and I used to get into it with these people, and I realized that I was demeaning myself. If someone has a contrary opinion, and you know, I, I have a 24 hour rule, I'll sit back and I'll think about it. And if it's just like, okay, they disagree with me, I'll leave it alone. But if they're clearly trying to be a stupid or start stuff, I ban them, block them, and move on. Because there are people who disagree with me, and they do it in a very constructive manner. It's like, well, this is why I don't believe in this, and this is, you know, they'll put a link. And that's called a discussion. But when they're like, hey, I want to come on your channel and pee on on it so more people know about me and how great I am and there was many of these people I said look you know if you want to do this why don't you create a channel let me come and talk smack on your channel and they never do it so essentially you're going to have to develop a thick skin and just block them now I will say the new comment system actually does a great job of filtering out a lot of crap 
Uh, Chuck, I have two channels. One's my baby. Like, yeah, you create as many channels as you want to. If you had one of ten channels, you can have them. Robert Davidson, is there a good source of quality video recording editing equipment? Yes, there is. Craigslist. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, and I'm going to tell you the cheapest way to get in the game, go on Craigslist and find a broke iPhone 5. 5S, 5C, whatever. Make sure the camera works and the screen works. You don't have to turn it on or nothing. You'll get an awesome camera because I didn't put this in the book, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to teach you how to set up your system. It's not so much, and uh, actually, I do. Hold on a second. I'll be back. I actually do have it here. I learned that it is the lighting. If you have a camera that's a 720 and you get uh, some really cheap lights let's see you get some uh, you can get them on Amazon for 60 to 100 bucks that will enhance your video like uh, I can't reach it but if I turn off my I only have one light on and you see how clear I am if I turn that light off I become like shadow man so lights are very important you can get really cheap if you already have like an iPhone 5 you already have a camera and you can go on Amazon and get like a little bracket. And as long as you're close to that, that phone, the sound's going to be great. All my driving videos are done with my iPhone. So realistically, if you're going to start from scratch, two, 200, 300 bucks will get you in the game from scratch. Cameras and a nice light. Because it's more important. These are the most important things. Your camera is, believe it or not, number even four. Lighting, audio is number one. You can have a crappy video, but you can have a great video with bad audio. It's not going anywhere. You can have a crappy video with great audio. People will watch it. So, yeah, you can go to Craigslist. You can go to eBay, and you can get used stuff. Now, the, this camera I bought uh, like this. It, it has night vision, and it takes it does video in very low resolution. Like, I can be out in a hotel room. I actually did this, and I can get the, the cityscape, and it comes out perfect. But this thing was 1500 bucks, like four years ago. So if you want to spend that money, you will get better performance, but you don't actually have to spend that. You really, really don't have to spend that. You, Like I said, two to 300 bucks will get you in there. And if you already have a camera and you already have a phone, spend maybe 60 bucks and get some nice lights, I will actually do something for you because this is – I will – uh, go to Amazon and I will get you this is just a starter kit like the thing is you can scale up you know you can just start with this and even if you this actually will make <laughs> hold on it's giving me all kinds of stuff uh, I will say get the fluorescent ones the halogens will burn your face I had them ah here we oh they went down uh, wow, they went down. Let's see. I'm going to give you this one because uh, this has been pretty consistent. It's 60 bucks if you're a Prime member. You'll get them free. So let me go back to the Hangout. I'll put this here. And these are the lights. I just sent that to everybody. But, yeah, if you already have a video camera, you don't have to go out and buy a new one. Just buy these lights and it will seriously enhance your video production. Let's see. Uh, Reginald, what did you do actually do yesterday? Because I lost contact. I lost track of what I was talking about. And Tony, I did it this morning. I do it now. Unless I have a good service manual or my mechanics better than me answer the phone. YouTube is a learning place. Yeah, I'm always on there. Beware, not all info is factual out there is killer car can mechanic YouTube guy, Scotty Kilmer. Tony, will it work? Yes. Uh, the camera has nothing to do with activation. If you can turn the phone on, you can use the camera. You can test that out even before you buy it. And yes, lights are extremely important. Tony, if I had known about lighting, I never would have bought my Nikons. You can spend the money and get like a Canon. Or well, you're being about 800, 1500 bucks, and you get a camera that will take excellent pictures in extremely low light. Um, and at some point, I'm going to get an SLR for videos because it gives you that depth of field look where you know it's just the face is focused and everything behind them is diffused, which is real hot. But 
I'm not doing that right now. Chuck, do you still get credit or attention for every comment or activity other than a thumbs down? I've been told of stories of people making the bogus video and getting paid because the picture and caption drew in loads of videos. Uh, they've changed that. Uh, there was the, there was called Reply Girls. Like if something was a hot topic, you would get a woman and she'd just show her boobs and she would reply. And that she put the boobs and her pretty face in the thumbnail and get like crazy views. They kind of cut that out. You get not money, but you do get credit. The more comments you get on your video, the better. This is why when I have the thing scrolling, subscribe, like, when people come in on your video, it pushes it up through the YouTube ecosystem. And the comments are very important. Oh, I didn't really send it. It's in the chat. I'll put it in there again. You should be able to see it. Just look at the chat. Oh, Reginald looked up how to change initiation calls. Okay. Uh, David, the videos you made are like micro products with micro revenue streams. You and some other members make it sound like more products are better than viewers. Is this like more? Pro yeah. Uh, if you want to make, you know, let, let's talk, let's have this conversation. If you want to make, you say you build birdhouses and you love birdhouses and you want to make a channel about birdhouses and fellowship and communicate with other birdhouse people, that's awesome. You can do that. If you want to make money, you need a product. Because if you can give you a good example, uh, there was this girl, she got crazy exposure. I mean, her blog was getting 200,000 hits, but she had no problem. She couldn't turn that exposure to cash. This is a big, big problem for a lot of older people who have channels, who maybe have done something. They cannot monetize their content. If you monetize your, if you have a plan for monetizing your content before you start your channel, you are so much ahead of those people. I'm telling you, what we're going to do with this course is that some of you go out and create a digital product or a physical product. And see, this is beauty. It doesn't just have to be a digital product. Digital products are easier. There's no shipping. But you can create a YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to show you a guy. Let's see. Because what he did and Let's see. Let me find it. Ah, yep. And see, this is the thing. He's the only one that does this. It's called Whips by Wade. Uh, actually, this is not the whips I was looking for, but this is actually a better example. All right. Now, this is something you can do if you're crazy about cars. I'm going to just put this uh, here so you can check that out. Yes, yeah, sex sales. Too many men. <laughs> Tony, I can show you pictures uh, of an item with an old Sony camcorder and with my Nikon $600 setup, and you'd be hard-pressed to see the difference because the light was right. Yeah, lighting is huge. Let's see. Let me find the real whips. That's whips by ways. Those are. He's got a, this guy's just going out taking pictures of hot cars and he's getting crazy views. Let's see. Let me find this other guy. Handmade whips. Cannot find him. This is kind of strange. All right, give me a second. I will find this guy because I know he has a shop on Etsy. And what he was doing, let's see, because he's been doing this for a while. There's a lot of stuff on Etsy. We're going to be talking about that in the future this year. Okay, he may be gone. Can I think of this guy's name? But um, uh, yeah, it's like uh, I think he's gone. I can't find him. Yep, he's gone. But essentially, he had a YouTube channel, and what he did. 
was he would make a whip. He would actually make the whip. And he showed the process and he did instructional videos. But because of the hassle factor, people, and this is something, uh, there's someone you should check out. Uh, her name is, hold on. I'm going to give this to you. Because she said this and it's very, very true. I'm going to give you her website. This is Amy Schrittemeyer. I've been watching her for a few years. She tells you everything that she does, but she said it on a podcast that, you know, essentially you can show people exactly what you're doing, but if they see that, hey, that, that price point of them doing, of the, them paying you to do it works for them, they're not, they're not going to do it themselves. And she was right about that. Uh, Marcy, what's any difference between get the silver, get the silver. The silver has a better, you want to make, because they all have a reflective, but yeah, get the silver. Is it possible to upload a PowerPoint presentation on YouTube? Yes, it is. What you first have to do is turn it into an MP4 file and just upload it. You should have the equipment on your, uh, well, let me, let me step back. What you have to do is the PowerPoint presentation. You need some type of video capture software to, when you're doing it, that it records it, and then it creates a video file that you can upload to YouTube. Uh, Chuck, how do you protect your equipment from rain, drizzle? I've got no. I don't go outside. I mean, it's very rare that I'm outside. Most of my stuff is done inside, so I've never had that issue. So I, I don't even know. And the dust thing, I have to dust them off every once in a while. Uh, yeah, Tony put in there. Okay, cool. The chat room is working. The chat room is working. But essentially, for your video setup, many of you, if you have an iPhone, you have most of the equipment you need. And if you need to mic someone up, you go to Amazon. They sell external mics for iPhones now. Real cheap. I mean, I think I can tell you the price real quick. I haven't used any one because I don't do interviews. You will need an external mic if you're going to do an interview. My external mic for iPhone. Because someone, there was a YouTube video, a how-to, where a guy made one. And it had crazy views. Uh, here is $18. It's by Audio-Technica. It's an omnidirectional, omnidirectional condenser microphone for your phone. It's 18 bucks. I'll actually put it. Now, this is if you want to have a little distance between yourself and your phone. I'll, I'll actually give you the link for that. It's actually gone down. So if you want to mic someone up and use your phone, bam, you can do it for 18 bucks. If you got Prime, it's free shipping. I will give you what's happened because, you know, I love saying this. This is so cool. August 6th would be my fifth year doing YouTube. It's like, you know, there were people who started college in 2009. They still haven't graduated. You know, shit's funny. All right, I'll stop bashing people. But what's happened is so amazing in the last five years. Uh, Davis giving someone, hey, cool, I like that. So what I'm saying is just start. You know, you don't have to be fancy because what you will learn by doing is so important because I remember when you couldn't load videos longer than 15 minutes. I mean, I had videos and load them and it was like red screen, psh, videos too long. They've increased it. I, I think the longest video that I put up was two hours as a test. I think the, you can do an eight-hour video on YouTube. I'm not sure. Um, but they've uploaded that. I mean, there's so many things. And I'm telling you, what's going to happen with the advertising going forward is going to be crazy. But you you have to start now and to be in the position. I have a really, really good concept because uh, I'm going to tell you someone who started last year. But the concept is so dope. It is. It's, I love this guy. Um, because, all right, I, I read a lot of books, and I was in advanced literature, advanced English and stuff. And some of his analysis are scary. I mean, they're real, but I will give you, let me come out of here, get out of there, get out of there, come back here. It's called Thug Notes. He takes classic literary works and puts a very 
urban, funny ass spin on it that's very accurate because the analysis, like when he did uh, Lord of the Flies about Piggy getting killed and the conk and everything, I remember reading that. I was like, damn, that's, that's it. That's it. So he's helping out a lot of kids. Now, this is the genius of what he does. It's Doug Notrite. Who has a need to know about the analysis of books? Kids in the seventh grade to maybe the, their junior year of college. So his his audience is a bunch of kids, and he gets crazy views, crazy views. Chuck uses a monopod. Uh, when we were doing the uh, pilot, the guy, the cameraman, he had the monopod. He put it on there just because, you know, as much as you think your hands are not shaking, you'll find out when you load that video. You're like, what is all this? I mean, it's, when you start, and this is some of the stuff you'll learn. When you start doing a lot of videos, things that you normally don't pay attention to will start to bug you. Like, you're doing a video, and then the air conditioner comes on. It's going to impact your video because... It is it it's loud enough to create problems if, if you're close to the vent. You the audio stuff, because I look at my older videos, like you, you could tell someone's new when like okay, this camera is expensive, but it has a, a boom mic in it. It has a boom mic. So I just turn on the boom mic feature. If I don't turn on the boom mic feature, it sounds like I'm in a, a tin can. Get all the room echoes and stuff. There's there's so many little things that you start to learn. And the thing is if you start now. You can buy the equipment bit by bit if you want the nicer stuff because the big thing is, and I will tell you, the processing that video takes, and believe it or not, the biggest part of a video file is the audio. I actually uploaded, I did something stupid, and the video part got loaded up, and the thing was only like 300 megabytes. Normally my videos are one to four gigs, and then when I actually did it right, it came out to 1.3 gigs. That's how much the audio file is of your video. And it's very, very important. Everything is cheap right now. Uh, Chuck, hey, how do you record a band or loud live music without the distortion? Hold on a second. I shall return out. I went to the gym this morning and I'm walking like an old man. Actually, a little longer. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm back. Okay. Like, I just got this. You're going to start hearing this for podcasts and stuff. But. These mics will only pick up sound that is directed toward them. Same thing with this. This is boom mic. So if you're in a crowd, right, and you're at a concert, you aim the mic wherever you want it, and you'll pretty much just pick up what's there. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. I think this has a range of about 15, 20 feet. So that's one way. Because that's why, you know, same thing with uh, this. And it's a setting where I've only had have the setting where the front is, is only picking up sound from the front. But I would have never known this stuff if I never started doing videos. I would have never even cared. <laughs> hey, I have stuff. It's all here because... Uh, I will tell you guys, I feel that I'm just really at the beginning of this stuff. You know, it's my fifth year, and I feel like, you know, okay, primary school. Because there's other things I want to do, and you'll see it, but we're not going to get into it because this is really about what you want to do. But essentially, you can start a YouTube channel very, very cheaply and just put up videos. And we'll talk about distribution and groups. And what I'm learning is say you have a blog, right? You've had for years, and you don't have a channel. You have a great resource for your channel because you already have a following. Bad gravy. What are y'all talking about? Bad gravy. Okay. All right. I'll get back on topic. But essentially, this is your task. 
If you don't have a channel, just go ahead and set up. And there's some other stuff that's real neat. I don't know if you know how to do it, and I may just make a, you know, just I'm gonna ask. With your new Google setup, you already have a Gmail account, right? And you already have a Google Plus page. You can create as many YouTube channels as you want from that one Google Plus page. What's gonna happen is you'll have to go into YouTube, and it's gonna say, hey, you're gonna go into your advanced settings, and you're gonna create a new channel. When you create that new channel, it's going to create an additional Google Plus page. So you don't have to, you can have like 10, 20 channels hooked up to one login. So you don't have to have all these email addresses and everything. Uh, going back, I should have answered that. Uh, someone said uh, they want to do three channels. You actually can have three channels, three Google Plus pages, but only one email. I think that was Marcy. Because if you go to your Google Plus page and, like I said, just go into YouTube, create a new channel, and you'll get the new Google Plus page. It is pretty awesome stuff. I'm loving the direction that this stuff is going into. It is um, amazing. Amazing the things that are happening. But yeah, your whole deal is just to start a channel and make 10 videos. That's your task for this week. They don't have to be long. They can be 30 seconds. Say, you know, try to shoot for three to four minutes. And if you want to say, I'm going to sit here and ramble, ramble. I like this. The really expensive mics, you can have a dog barking next to you. And if it's pointed elsewhere, the mic won't. It, it's true. I will tell you, I did a lot of research and I played around with it. This one will do the same thing. This was 140 bucks, Amazon. Yeah, free shipping on a lot of stuff. And this mic... If you're too close, you have to crank down the grain because this thing's very sensitive. But he's right. If you have a good mic and it's like this, like some mics. Actually, I did a video about this. So someone, some of these mics are fifteen hundred, two, three, four, five thousand dollars. There's certain old mics they don't make anymore, and they just recondition them. And I found one in the unit. These mics can really go for a lot of money. Let's see. I know the 3D is going to be dope. I'm waiting for that myself. This is a good conversation. I will say one of the things that I like about this more so than GoToWebinar is the interaction with the chat room. That's not part of GoToWebinar. So that, that's really, really cool. And I think, you know, you guys like it, and I like it, so that's pretty good stuff. All right, so this is your task. Start a video channel, make 10 videos. You can take the camera, walk it, okay, and, like, if you got a job, you got 2.5 kids and the dog, that, do it in your car. Just, um, if you don't want to buy them, the mounts are 12, 14 bucks. If you don't want to buy a mount, just find a place in your car that, and I will give you a tip. Use the forward, the front-facing camera <laughs> because if you hit a bump or something, you're using the rear camera. And sometimes uh, with the oh, uh, iPhone mount, and typically if it was an iPhone mount, it'll, it will handle pretty much. Now, some phones are huge. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for the one I have. Oh, here's one, uh, six, you know, just look around, check out the ratings, but I will give you one link to go for it. Because typically I take my iPhone, put it in the mount, stick it on the windshield, and go for it. So you, you have no excuse. If you, you can do it in your driving town, you're going to work, do your video, then upload it. Um, I would say... Download your video onto your computer and edit it because you can, with a lot of these phones, directly load it up to YouTube, but then you still have to get somewhere to do. I don't know if you can do a thumbnail from your phone. I'm not sure if that's possible. Could be, but once again, you can't edit your thumbnails. And I will say this. Give you an example. Let me throw this up. I will share this with you. 
when I started doing this, I noticed a big bump in views. And this is something I learned from writing books. When you do your book cover, it's got to look good at when it's the size of a postage stamp because that's what many people are going to see. And certain fonts, you, I mean, it, like, I'll give you an example. I actually think I can, I can do it. I can do it. I have the power. Okay, it didn't do it. I thought I had the power. I don't. I don't have the power. But essentially, what? Because it's kind of big. But on smaller ones, let me see if I can find a smaller one. I have the ability to let's find one really, really small. Because ah, this, I think this is going. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna. Look. <laughs> I love this. You can do so many things. Okay. Give you an example. Now, I can hold on. It's not going. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. Okay. Apparently, Google Plus is not going to make it small because I got this thing like maybe double the size it would be on Amazon. But part of doing your thumbnail is the same thought process that goes into your book covers. They have to be readable and clear and distinct when they are really small. So when I started doing that, okay, actually, I think I can cheat here. I think I can cheat. I think I can cheat and still show you what I am talking about. I'm determined. I am freaking determined. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. I can show it to you. I'm so excited. As you can tell, I actually like doing these things. They're way fun. Okay, and there it is. See? Even that small mistake, you can still see it. And this is a little bit smaller than what it would be online. So when you're doing your thumbnail, you want to be able that your grandmother can go, Oh, look at that. I can still see these mistakes are good. You want it that, that clear. So. Okay, it is 6.56, uh, almost 7 o'clock. I know you folks have stuff to do. I will put out, you know, everybody's in the loop, so what I can do is just send you the update. This will be, this is recording as we speak, and it's going on a separate channel, which means once it gets through processing, then I'm going to download it and upload it somewhere else for you and send you a link, and there will be more and more. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff, you know, free form. You know, you can ask any questions. If you watch this, you can turn around and say, hey, you know, what about this? What about that? Because the, the whole goal of this is to help you create a channel that makes money as soon as possible. And AdSense is not going to be the vehicle for most people because, you know, you may catch a kid farting and it gets on uh, Jimmy Kimmel and you get like two million views. Okay, fine. Monetize that. You can probably make two or three grand a month while it's hot. Sure. But, you, you know, initially you got to do the video first. So if there's any questions before I close this out, just let me know and I will answer them. And uh, I will put out the schedule of the other stuff that's coming up and let you guys know. Chuck, very question. Will YouTube hit you with copyright issues with pics used not being yours? That's why I use iStock Photo. Uh, that's what's called royalty-free pictures. You can get a lot of stuff for four or five bucks. Some stuff they'll give you for free. And typically, if it's what I call a common use picture, like, give an example. If you take, if you do a review on Coke and use a Coke can, they're not coming after you. Um, if you're drinking a Coke in the video and you hold it up, they're not coming after you. Very Now, there are people who will come after you, so you have to be real careful because YouTube is not going to hit you. What's going to happen is someone's going to see that you're using their work and they're going to do what's called copyright infringement claim on you and what YouTube will do is send you a notification giving you the chance to remove the channel and if you don't they I mean remove the content and if you don't they will and you're going to get a strike <laughs> I will show you something you know I was talking about uh, all of the madness that was happening I was waiting for this guy to do a cover for me 
and something just happened. It was just got really, really weird. And I know it was messed up. But I was like, I thought because he, he normally is really fast, and that week nothing. That it just kept getting weird and weird. But what's weird is I actually like this color, this cover better, and I'm probably gonna stick with it. I like this one better. I made this one myself because you know. It's open to revision, but I really like this one because what I'm doing is crafting a brand and a theme and a certain look, and that's the look. Copyright laws are pretty simple. If you don't own that shit, you can't use it without their permission. Um, typically, there's a lot of pictures you can pull off the internet and you're not ever going to have problems. If the picture is really crisp, dope, like from Deviant Art or something like that, or it's just really fly, don't use it without their permission. They will come after you. I haven't had anyone come after me for thumbnails and stuff because anything that you see that is really dope, I have to pay for. And or and there's something else. I do this and it's funny. This one chick I was dating, she couldn't stand it. Whenever I was out, I would just take pictures of all the weirdest shit. You never know when you're going to need that picture. And I just have all these pictures. Because if you take the picture of the same building that someone else did, they can't come after you for copyright because you're using your image that you took. And they all know it. So the uh, design and life of a tenement webinar, I haven't even sent those emails out. I don't even know what you're talking about. I haven't even put that stuff out. The book doesn't drop until this Friday. So how can we do the webinars? Y'all are funny. But uh, there, there will be a ton of stuff. ton of stuff. This is the YouTube people. Essentially, um, don't believe that. Give you an example. Steamboat Willie is extremely old, right? Disney renews the copyright on that, and if you use that shit, they will come after you. It really depends on who owns it and what they're doing with it. You can use an image for a review or an editorial and not have a lot of problems, but don't believe that. Do your research. Don't believe that because someone got jammed up messing around with Disney, and they came after them hard. So, okay, it is 7.02. I'm about to shut this down. Uh, tomorrow, 11 a.m., we'll be doing the live Q&A. And there will be another one Wednesday, probably at 11 a.m. also. So if there's any questions, shoot. If not, I wish everybody a happy Mother's Day, and I'm going to shut this down. Really? Uh, hmm. Hold on a second. Since I'm here, I'll look real quick. Okay. You say day 17? <laughs> now it's open. Just refresh your screen. It's open. I'm looking at it right now. Day 17 creative sourcing. Yeah, you can get in there. Uh, if you have any problems, just uh, email me on Facebook. But yeah, that's wide open. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, this is Robert Davison. He's one of the originals. Glennon has been about five years since you first drafted the storage auction book. It's amazing to see how far you come. Keep up the good work, Bob. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate that. Uh, Chuck, GC is getting harder and harder to keep up with you at times. Kudos to you and your success. Thanks for doing this. Part of the problem was uh, the, the two weeks of universal snafus slowed me down. So, think, you know, I apologize for that. It's going to get better because when my email thing went down, I was dead in the water. It was kind of scary. <laughs> no, the process is going to get better because uh, this week, what's happening is Monday, Q&A webinar, Wednesday, Q&A webinar, Friday, uh, design the life of a you know, 
Crafting a Life of Design and Intents coming out Friday, 12 p.m. Then there will be other stuff. I like contentment. So, Marcy, if you have any problems, let me know. There will, there's, I will say there's a lot more stuff that's coming the rest of the year. Uh, essentially, what's going to happen is there's, all right, here's the goal. I had some crazy life events that happened early in the year. And to battle those life events, I decided, you know, to follow my own advice, you know, to create a bigger life. So the goal is to write 11 more books this year. And they'll be between 30,000 and 90,000 words, which means I got a lot of work to do. So I'm putting my time and energy into that. So when I say there's a lot more stuff coming, there's a lot more stuff coming. Because I think doing these webinars, I finally understood what helped me get out of that situation I was in. And it's not the original thing. And what I'm doing is putting together that process in these books and this training. Because it's a system. You know, it's a system. I, I didn't realize what I was doing when I was doing it, but now that I look back, I'm like, oh, that's why that worked. And oh, that's why that didn't work. So, okay, with that, I will see you good people tomorrow at 11 a.m. Thanks for coming out, sharing your Sunday with me. And with that, I will see you on the good side.